Hi guys, we're going to talk about the global warming. Um, nowadays, we live in a world where everything uh, hurts the human body in many ways. It can be like a disease, um, poverty, or hungry. And well, what is the global warming? The global warming uh, is a natural phenomenon, phenomenon not only caused by the humans, also it, also by the nature. So. Um, the global warming is a uh, um, is when the, the carbon dioxide and other contaminants um, go to the air and make the solar lights to hinder. So when so it makes the atmosphere to to warm up. Um, and well, this is like a big problem because it's not only in one country or two, it's in all the world. So we need to do something. Um, scientists say that if humans don't do anything, um, in, at the end of the century, the degrees can go higher uh, to three, from three to nine degrees. And now we're going to talk about the causes of the it could be vehicular or industrial or electrical pollution. For example, cars send many gases into the atmosphere, which cause to which cause air to warm up and also to um, increase its average temperature. And electricity is another cause that is very important because, as you know, 75 percent of the electricity worldwide is produced by burning fossil fuels. So that the gases of that burning go into the air and cause and send many gases like uh, carbon dioxide, which is very bad for us. And another cause is the forestation. And this carbon dioxide uh, is the air that our bodies, the body itself will be breathed. So what it really do is to take that carbon dioxide and uh, release oxygen, oxygen that's what we breathe. So if we start uh, cutting down all the trees, the carbon dioxide is going to concentrate the air. Uh, landfills. So as you know, in the landfill, landfills, the garbage is burned. So when we burn the garbage, the gases are sent into the atmosphere, and that's the reason we the garbage. The transport of um, air. Two, and pollution is another cause because more people need more food and also more transportation. So we're going to spend more time with traffic lights, so we're going to have to burn more fossil fuels. And also, for example, um, more people need also more homes or houses. So we're going to have to cut down more trees in order to build some houses or colleges. Uh, and now, the effects. Well, first, um, uh, the planet is warming from North Pole to South Park and everywhere in between. So, uh, but the effects of uh, warming, the warming, Aren't waiting or far future. It's uh, happening right right now. So uh, the effects uh, that already happened are um, uh, ice is melting, uh, especially at the Earth uh, poles, and uh, the the number of penguins uh, have. Um, have fallen from 31,000 to 11,000 in 30 years. The, level became, the sea level rise became faster at the last century, and bird class foxes, uh, alpine plants, and other animals uh, moved farther to cooler areas because of the melting ice and the warming. And the precipitation as snow fall and rain has increased until the low on average. And other effects that could happen if warming continues are like hurricanes and other storms uh, are likely to increase. Uh, species that depend on others uh, and may become out of sync, for example, plants could bloom. Um, Earlier than they would maybe insects and uh, become active. So 
trash cans and you have to like pick like if you have a plastic bag you have to put it in like the I can't remember plastics and if you eat a apple you have to put the trash in organics and we have to recycle and if you can recycle in your house it, it will be it will be better for the for our, our environment useless heat and air conditioning this causes like more carbon dioxide to our environment and it doesn't help a lot like the with the electricity and because we well in my case I always like have the air conditioning conditioning and it spends a lot of energy and that damage our environment. Change the light bulb. Sometimes we have like here the bulbs. I don't know if it's like the 70 watts bulbs but if, if you in your house you have the like Standard light bulbs that it, the light is more like between red and yellow. That's the ones that cause more damage to the environment. You can substitute them by the I don't know what's the name, but the LED, okay, LED, LED bulbs and planet trees. It's always nice for the environment. We don't have like so many trees here in the city, and that will help to the environment to absorb. It. One tree can absorb one ton of carbon dioxide, more or less. And encourage other to conserve, like to recycle, to plant a tree, change the light bulb and that stuff. And that's all. Yeah. <laughs> 